How's it going, everybody? My name is MDK W Lan, otherwise known as MDK, and hi guys. Haven't made a video in like nine, ten months. My apologies, and hey, I'm actually in Arch Linux. This this is actual Arch Linux, and uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's bare bones Arch. Like pretty much, I was just like, oh hey, I wonder if I can get Catalyst working, and uh, I did. So. I got this. Actually, this, this build is interesting because it's ButterFS and yeah, and well, B BTRFS. But anyway, I, that's a whole nother topic, which I was thinking about making a video about. I'm just, just excited I got it to work in general. But uh, this is actually a common thing and common problem that I've seen, and it's actually a really easy fix and, and I hope it's on the wiki but I just found the fix because I've been experimenting with Arch for so long that I just learned how to do it so essentially like okay you just you know I pull down so it'd be pseudo pacman perhaps pseudo pacman tac s uh, virtual box and you just pull it down and it'd be like, okay, cool. And you didn't restart or anything like that. And you set up like you want to do another arch install and do fancy things. And you go to start it. And oh, hey, look at that. Kernel driver not installed. But these were pulled down when you did it because it's a dependency that gets pulled down with Pac Man. And you start freaking out. And I need to change something because if I don't do that it's going to cause simple screen recorder to crash anyway um, it's actually very easy to fix this and the temporary solution is to do mod probe yeah, I, uh, you want to do it as pseudo mod probe um, tech a vbox drv and it'll work but that, like I said it's a temporary solution it's, it's not really helping because you essentially have to run this command every time you would go to restart so what you want to do is actually just take uh, vbox dvr copy it i'm using sakura as a terminal emulator because cinnamon doesn't come with one and gnome terminal um seems to want to fight me today so use whatever text editor you want uh nano slash etsy modules load.d and we're going to call this virtual box docs conf and you just paste it in there if you're in terminal and in nano it's a uh, control shift V to paste it and to get out of uh, nano it's control X Y to save it and enter to agree and I did not open the sudo apparently so sudo bang bang you can do it again save it now every time you restart your computer essentially um, that module will be loaded and it will no longer be an inconvenient problem. I actually saw this video of this um this problem come up on a video of a guy that I'm following on YouTube. Very good guy, currently making his own spin of Arch Linux. And if you guys want to go check it out, it's a uh, YouTube user Midfinger. Yeah, Midfinger. I will leave uh, links in the description to go check it out. Um, he's doing some awesome work and. I'm actually really excited to be following him. So, yeah, plug for him. And uh, he came across this problem while he was doing his video. And, yeah, I know this is this is an actual problem. Because uh, I've seen it on the Arch forums. I've seen it on, like, Yahoo Answers and Google Searches and things like that. So I know this problem exists. So I know this video is relevant in some fact, shape or form. But, yeah, anyway... Um, more videos to come guys because I got time now, but apart from that, see you soon.